Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Outer Plane. So, um, we have the deeps, I haven't done the deeps stage 11 or 12, I mean I have done them, I just haven't showed you. <laughs> so that's what we're going to pretty much be doing today. Um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, we're using Valentine, Aste, Dracon, and Akari. These are her stats, um, this is the gear, it's not, like, you just need to have a lot of speed on her, um, critical hit chance, and then reduced attack, I mean, they're, they're, it doesn't matter that much, but, if you want to, this does matter though, uh, you do want the t 10 chain points, and also the team attack is definitely gonna matter, so, uh, yeah, 6 star, <laughs> legendary rogue, rogue's charm, which you can get from points, I believe, so, you don't need this also uh, this is just extra stat stuff but you can see i have a lot of stats on her uh <laughs> she can pretty much wipe a lot of teams just by herself like i pretty much built her as a dps but with the ability to do um a lot of cool stuff the funny thing is that i won't don't even have to put a skill cooldown on this one so you don't even have to max out her second skill because she is always going to have it before this one as long as you use this skill before this one because it's one turn before but since this one has a one turn less cooldown then they will both be available on the same turn or actually right after each other because the cooldown doesn't start until you after you use the skill so it'll still have one turn cooldown on this but then you get an extra turn and then it goes away and then you you're able to use it so yeah pretty pretty broken um I mean, yeah, that's all I have to say for her. It's Valentine. She's going to reduce uh, priority and be amazing. Um, Estee's here to heal. Uh, I do have a decent amount of... Uh, <laughs> she's at 27k health. So she is going to stay alive, for hopefully for the most part. Um, yeah, and then she also has like 2600 defense. So she's going to stay alive. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff on her. Health set, obviously. Um, 50% chance to resurrect and heal, but I only have her for the speed because these tokens, this resurrection token, um, what is it, an accessory, right? Weapon, accessory, yeah, legendary accessory. Uh, I always forget what they're called. <laughs> There's so many different names. Um, but yeah, these resurrection token accessories give you a lot of speed. Usually it's around 30, maybe 25, but if you get the six star legendary and you max it out like I did here, 40 speed, which is insane. Um, Emblem of Dominance, 75% chance to increase defense of all allies for 50% by one turn when using a burst skill. It's almost guaranteed, basically. Um, I kind of want to enhance this one a little bit. Okay, give you effectiveness. It uh, didn't really matter, but okay. Alright. Um, what else? Alright, Akari. Oh, sorry, Drakon. So, obviously, I've shown you Drakon before. Um, I gave her f almost 6k attack, so... <laughs> I gave her all of my best attack pieces. Um, she's going to be dealing a lot of damage. She's going to be increasing her attack up to 40%. <laughs> and she has a lot of penetration. So, she is going... You, you've already seen her do 59k damage. She does so much damage. It is ridiculous. Um, and you kind of need her for stage 12. Because the boss is actually really annoying, and it is a dark boss, so do keep that in mind. Um, okay, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the list. Also, it stays here for immunity for stage 12. For stage 11, it doesn't matter. For stage 12, it does. Because the enemies are very tanky, and they have a lot of stun for some weird reason. Like, yeah, let's give them a lot of fucking attack, a lot of health, and the ability to completely shut down your entire fucking team. Sounds like a great balanced idea. <laughs> Outer plane. <laughs> Okay, let's go straight into it. Uh, where am I going? Right, challenge. Okay. So we go deeps 11. Reduce attack by 50 and reduce the speed of water units by 40%. Alright, so don't use water units and you need a lot of attack. You understand why I'm using fire team as well on this. Um, because these are all earth heroes. So we're going to be doing some damage. And also light isn't... Uh, Advantage or disadvantage against Earth, so we should be fine there. Yeah, attack reduction though is pretty hard. It's annoying. 
Um, I don't remember how this one works. I just remember... What does this say? Okay. Oh, I see now. Okay. Okay. I completely forgot how this works. Because uh, I just know 12 was harder. Mm. And there we fucking go. Now it doesn't matter. We don't have a single water unit. And all of our attacks are obviously going to deal a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, you don't even have to... Uh... Oh, you don't even have to walk to it. Actually, that's so good. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> okay. Um, I already collected all the rewards. So as you know, there's not going to be much for me to do. But uh, yeah, let's just go straight into it. Okay. So obviously you kind of want a card to go first because she does have the defense down, but it doesn't really matter for this case. I mean, 20k is still a lot of damage. <laughs> it's because Akari has the defense down and the resilience, so if they have any counterattack, they won't get any buffs if that's part of their thingy. Uh, just look at this, right? <laughs> yep, it's so disgusting. I don't even understand why. Let's see how much damage you can do to this dude. Oh, that's gonna be a lot. Like 20k? Yeah. <laughs> so unnecessary. Okay. Yeah, so this one is gonna be a lot easier because, um... I just don't remember it being hard. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, less than a minute. Um, I have been looking at reviews for this game, so a few things they could fix is just for quality of life, being able to turn off the uh, animation so you just do your ultimate and it just does the damage. Like do a very short animation. Um, basically what they have with the burst skills, right? The burst skills have all this... Um, yeah, burst skills have all this animations for like all the different... Sometimes they have different animations for different AP cards. So <laughs> they usually have two different animations. So... It just, it just does not make sense to me. <clears throat> There's also, um, boss battles. They, like all the story mode, they have to make hard a lot easier. Um, even normal story mode, I gotta say, you need specific characters for that, and it just like... Plus, it's the fact that you can't even use, like, 90% of the characters. Like, what is the fucking point of your game if, uh, you only want people to use specific characters? <laughs> it just does not make sense to me, right? Like, realistically... <clears throat> what's gonna be better? You being able to beat the story mode, or you not being able to beat the story mode? Because you don't have a specific character. Obviously, the la the la the former, and not the latter. <laughs> so yeah, it sucks. It really does suck. But um, yeah, they they can only fix. They only have to fix like a few things, and it would be a hundred percent awesome. Okay, well we're gonna be attacking a lot of enemies a lot of times. So, where's the uh, cannon for this one? Oh, there it is. So yeah, um. I don't know about like, like characters are, I mean, the more recent characters they're releasing seem to be very meta, I'm not gonna lie. Like they seem to be countering a lot of the old characters, but to be fair, they had counters before and they were meta, so at least there's like some counterweight. The problem with that is um, you're gonna be upsetting a lot of people who have been using those characters, so yeah, I don't know, I don't know. <clears throat> but hey, we'll see. Okay. I want to increase our priority again. So the reason I brought these characters is because as you can see, we can pretty much go before the enemy. So we're not going to lose any health. Oh, I might have spoke too soon here. Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> we're good. Akari does no damage because she's light <laughs> and she's going against an earth character. If you really aren't type advantage in these battles, um, especially as you get further on, it really sucks for you. 
Yeah, when they're burned. Bam! Let's go. Okay. Oh, and there's another cannon. Yeah, so this mini game, uh, I believe it also goes over to the next one. So, I don't know if my eggs are rotten or anything, but I'm just not feeling good right now. It's the only food I had left over, and it's technically a two days beyond its expiration date. Or, best before date, unless that is the expiration date, but they didn't smell bad. The eggs, specifically. So I don't know. I really don't know. I have to max out um, a stay skill so that every time she uses her second skill, she's able to increase priority by 10%. Because with uh, Valentine, it's just going to be... My team has an insane amount of priority. Um, I also did get a stays um, exclusive equipment. So every time she's hit by an attack that targets all enemies, she is going to, or all allies, she's going to um, increase priority by 5%, I believe. Which makes sense. She uh, she does not need to. <laughs> yeah, she does not need to do any of that. Um. I mean, I guess we go second skill. Okay, we're fine. I I don't know all the time if we we have more speed than the enemy, but it seems like we are. <laughs> we do have more speed. We are faster. We are better. We are stronger! Penetration or increase the damage of fire. No, well, the fire is doing a lot of damage, so... Let's increase the penetration so at least our light heroes are also doing damage. Wait. Why is there a cannon here? Was that for the other rock? Did I just use a different cannon for a different ro I'm confused now. Because there was no rock there. See, level 97 enemies. That's not even the point though. Oh, wow. It's the fact that they have just have so much health. Hey, let's go. Okay. Um, I don't know if this kills, but let's see. Nah, it doesn't kill. Of course. Fucking course. Yeah, they, it gets a lot harder as it goes on. As you can see. Oh, this is going to deal like 25k maybe? Yeah. Ah, see, look, I can always predict that. See, if you are able to build your team perfectly, you can always predict what's going to happen. Okay, well, that was 7k, so maybe I should have targeted a different character. But Oh, well, let's just use your AP cards for some extra animation. <laughs> okay. Um, I do think this will kill you, right? Oh, no. Really? That doesn't fucking kill you? That's some dumbassery. Screw you. Yeah, see, like, there's just a bullshit like that. It does not make sense. She's able to kill every other character. Yeah, and then look at this. We're about to take some damage here. Yep. Bullshit. <laughs> it's just like, every time. Every time you play the game, there's just a little bit of bullshit that they add in order for you to lose the game on purpose. <laughs> It's like they don't help you in this game. They try and stop you. And with every update, it's actually been worse. <laughs> what, what they've been doing. Honestly, it's been like this light. This light has been doing the same thing. Even though they have been uh, slowly fixing their game. They have been trying to revert back to the. Oh, let's take money from our customers because we can. And it's not going well for them. Because they lost $100,000 in revenue for because of that. Um, Critical Mages. Yeah, none of this helps me. None of this fucking helps me. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot we can go here. <clears throat> yeah, let's go speed of fire heroes, whatever. Oh, so that's what the cannon is here for. That makes more sense. Hey, there we go. Okay, so two more battles. <clears throat> Honestly, I think I'm going to have to do these separately. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> they just take so long because you need maxed out characters, maxed out equipment, specific characters. And they really just fuck with the entire game by making it impossible to clear without stats or characters. Which is not a good thing at all. I mean, it's the reason why the game is dying, right? Like, they, there's one of the reasons. There's a lot of reasons. <laughs> 
But yeah, they really don't try to fix the game. Instead, they try and make it worse and then just keep on with their whole marketing scheme. It's really sad, honestly, in my opinion, because the game could have been something truly amazing. Like everyone says, like I, I like this is great gameplay mechanics. Like it's all cool and the animation and quality of the art is amazing, but the game itself sucks. <laughs> it doesn't matter if all of the stuff is good. If the game itself is just trash, nobody's going to play it. <laughs> That's just how it goes. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this in two. Yeah, because I'm already at 15 minutes. And I, I had to show you my team. Uh, it's gonna be the same for the other battles. But, uh, yeah. I mean, these are some of the best characters in the game in terms of... Well, Valentine is the great at bringing damage to your team and able to make your team go first. Akari is good with her defense stuff, um, her debuffs basically. Cover is 20, um, I mean sure, whatever, at this point it doesn't matter. Oh, I have to use this again? Hey. Okay, um, I guess we fight this as well. Like, if we're gonna make this the only battle, <laughs> only deep stage in this video, I should at least, uh, you know, finish it through and through. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty much the, the same thing we've been doing. Um, this is a mini boss, so it's a little bit different, because we're gonna be attacking the actual boss. Because we'll be able to heal at least one time in this battle. Um... Not with Akari's, or with a, a stays uh, passive on her first skill, but with uh, actually using her skill. Alright, let's see if this kills the boss. Probably not. Ah, uh, okay, wait, no, that's a lot of damage, though. Okay, yeah, actually, never mind. We just ended here. Because <laughs> it's a boss battle, so we just killed the boss. Oh, no, I guess they don't do this. Wait, that makes no sense. Every fucking other boss battle, you just have to kill the boss. Uh, I'm confused now. That makes no sense. Literally makes no sense. Okay, well. Here goes Akari doing her thing. Oh, actually, we're fine. I didn't even realize we had a chain skill <laughs> available. Oh yeah, I forgot that we have two light and two fire. So we actually gain chain skills a lot faster. 40k, baby. That's how it rolls. <laughs> That's a lot, though. That's as much as a uh, or uh, um. I forgot her name already. Instantly kills a target if below 15. Increase attack, but oh. Uh. Um, do they stack though? No, I don't think they stack. So actually, let's do this one. And um. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the resilience of my healer. That's not gonna help me at all. <laughs> she already has a lot of resilience. It's like 200 or something. <laughs> And we're facing Earth characters anyway, so they're going to be type of disadvantage against us. At least for uh, fire characters. Mm. Dracon, that's what I meant. We're doing as much damage as Dracon can do with her ultimate on a dark boss with our chain skill. Which is actually kind of insane. Um, So here's what we do different, right? Attack penetrates 15% of defense. Is there any debuffs that these guys can do? I just want to see. Oh, uh, it's just priority increase. Oh, stun. Okay, yeah. So we do this. Immunity. I'm just not going to try and deal with it. It's only two turns because I don't have her skill maxed out. But it should be enough to counteract whatever these dumbasses are about to do to us. Honestly, I think I did it way too early. Oh no, I think it's fine. Uh, so this one, I do believe if you beat the boss, it's over, right? Because if it's not, that doesn't make any sense. 32k, okay. Yep, there goes the attack. Um, Yeah, I mean, we keep attacking the boss, why not? Let's stay so broken, <laughs> we just heal.
Immunity. All right, good. I was about to say. Yeah, bleed, bleed, bleed. All right. Um, second skill. We're just gonna use it. Oh my goodness, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all are sleeping on Drakon. She does us so much damage. It's so dumb. It's single target damage, so she's good against bosses. But wow. Okay, let's just end this here then. <laughs> You wanna play with me, buddy? You got the fire. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> 62k! Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we do more damage than truck on. That makes more sense. I was about to say. I think 49k was the most I got with her. And it's over. That's the end of the deep stage. We explored all 39 tiles, got everything, collected every key. Well. You understand how that works um short video but again it's gonna take me 20 minutes to do the other battle as well because again it's gonna be difficult um or at least they're just very tanky so it just takes a while to kill everybody but yeah thank you all for watching as always aog gaming here if you're enjoying the content please like and subscribe really shows your support helps me out keeps you today my content 204 subscribers this time checks y'all are amazing keep going um yeah the deep stage 11 uh, it's definitely getting a lot more difficult, but that makes sense because uh, we're basically at the home stretch. We're at the last 10 levels of this uh, corridor, or like 8, I guess now, because we already finished 12, so we're on 13. Uh, yeah, well, thank you all for watching as always, and yeah, I'll see everybody in the next video.